on the coast of Coromandel, where the early pumpkins blow. In the middle of the woods lived the Ongi Bongi Bo. Two old chairs and half a candle, one old jug without a handle. These were all his worldly goods in the middle of the woods. Once among the bong trees walking where the early pumpkins blow, to a little heap of stones came the ongi bongi bo. There he heard a lady talking to her milk-white hens of Dorking. Sits the lady Jingly Jones on that little heap of stones. Lady Jingly, Lady Jingly, sitting where the pumpkins belong. Will you come and be my wife? Said the Ongi Bongi Bo. I am tired of living singly on this coast so wild and shingly. If you'll come and be my wife, quite serene would be my life. Lady Jingly, she answered sadly, and her tears began to flow. Your proposal comes too late, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. I would be your wife most gladly, here she twirled her fingers madly. But in England I've a mate, you have asked me far too late. Down the slippery slopes of Myrtle, where the early pumpkins blow, to the calm silent sea fled the Ongi Bongi Bo. There beyond the bay of Gertle lay a large and lively turtle. On your back beyond the sea, turtle, you shall carry me. Through the silent roaring ocean, did that turtle swiftly go? Holding fast upon his shell, rode the Ongi Bongi Bo. With a sad primeval motion toward the sunset isles of Boshan. Still the turtle bore him well, Lady Jingly Jones. Fare thee well. From that coast of Coromandel did that lady never go. On that heap of stone she moans for the Ongi Bongi Bo. On that coast of Coromandel, by his jug without a handle. Still she weeps, still she moans, on that little heap of stones. On the coast of Coromandel, where the early pumpkins blow in the middle of the 